Alrighty, this is my 2024 presidential election prediction between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. So, uh, let's just get into this and let's just start with the safe states. I'm just setting them up be really quick. Oops. Got that. Yeah, there's a lot of safe states always, but we'll still send them up. Alrighty, I think I got all the safe states set up. And these are the states I think that are not going to be competitive whatsoever. Colorado, because Biden won it over by 10 points. Virginia. Same thing, Biden won it over 10 points. It's getting more and more liberal every election. These states are just no longer competitive for the GOP. <clears throat> Let's uh, start with the likely states. First state is uh, Iowa. I think it's going to stay with Trump relatively by the same margin he won it last time in 2020. Around like seven or eight-ish points. I figure it's going to be probably pretty much the same there. That's my guess. I mean, it could go to lean for Biden, but... Eh, I think Trump's base will stick with them in Iowa. And the same thing could be said for Ohio. I think Trump's base will stick with them for this election. He won Ohio by the same like percent, eight points in 2020 and eight points in 2016. There's going to be eight points again in 2024 if Donald Trump is the nominee. Minnesota, that's going to be a likely state for Joe Biden. Mainly since I really don't think Joe Biden's base is going to erode here over time. It only has room to grow in Minnesota, in my opinion. I feel like the margin could even get to a, an over 10-point victory in Minnesota, but for now it would be safe and categorized as likely. Michigan is an interesting pick. You expect me to do it lean, but I'm going to actually make it likely. I feel like Biden's going to win this day by over five points next time if he's facing Trump. Biden will have the opportunity to grow his base a lot here in this state, especially in the Detroit area. He could run up the numbers there very hard. And I feel like Trump's base kind of eroded here a little bit since then. But we'll have to see. But for now, I'd categorize that as likely. The next state we should go to. Hmm. I'll just get the districts out of the way. Nebraska's second. I figure it's going to stay likely. I don't think it's going to change. That was the margin last time. Main second, I feel like that's going to stay. Same thing with Trump, likely. It could go to Liam, though. Uh, main at large, likely. Main District 1, safe. That's obvious. <clears throat> New Hampshire. We saw a poll that came out a few days ago. It showed Biden with an eight-point lead here, and that's pretty much where roughly where it put it, as a likely state. I feel like Biden's base will stay with him in this state, and he has room to grow there. Next state, I think we did all the likely states. The next state I would do is Nevada. I feel like it would be a lean margin here. Trump did well in this state, but not well enough in 2020, and I feel like he's always going to get close to winning it, but never going to close that margin. I mean, because of the Las Vegas area down here in Nevada, like it's super Democratic, and it keeps getting more liberal as we go on through each election. It's going to be a lean margin for Biden. That's my best guess. <clears throat> Texas. Texas is interesting. It's getting more Democratic every year, but like a three-point average, four-point average around there. I don't think Biden's going to win it. I think Trump will carry it, but by a lean margin. It's getting more and more Democratic every year, which is interesting. It could flip one of these days. The next state is Florida. I feel like it's going to be a lean margin, and I feel like Florida might vote more Republican in 2024 than Texas. That's one of my guesses. It might happen, but we'll have to see. Biden could grow his base here enough to maybe even make Florida into the tilt category if he could grow his base in the state, but nah, I feel like it's going to be a lean margin. It's Trump's home state. Home state advantage is very important, and I feel like that'll help him in the state. <laughs> Next state, Arizona. I feel like it'll be a tilt margin. Arizona... 
a lot of Republicans in this state, around like 9 to 10 percent, actually voted for Biden in 2020. So I feel like it would stay at this tilt margin as it done before. I feel like Trump's base here is still intact, especially in Arizona. But I feel like Biden will hold enough numbers to keep this state from going into Trump's column in 2024. Next state I would do, Pennsylvania. I'm going to categorize this as lean. I feel like Biden's base will stay intact here in this state, but won't grow to a likely margin as seen in Michigan. I feel like he'll hold his lead here and won't lose too much to Trump if Trump does run again. And Trump has a possibility of, like, we might see his base erode in this state. So, yeah. Georgia, I would categorize as lean Democratic. I feel like Biden's base here is going to keep on growing from immigration from like other states such as Illinois, New York, all sorts of Democrats are moving to this state like crazy, especially in the Atlanta area and the Atlanta suburbs. Georgia only has room to grow as a Democratic state and that'll keep its trend going. It's the new Virginia. Virginia used to be a GOP stronghold. Not anymore. It's a Democratic one because of the uh, people moving to the state especially in the suburbs, like right around here. But uh, for Georgia, I feel like it's a similar story. It's going to stay Democratic, and it's only going to grow from here. Wisconsin, interesting case. I feel like Trump's base here, he does have room to grow, and he could even win this state against Biden in a rematch. However, I would do it as a tilt Democratic state here. Wisconsin is becoming more and more Republican over the years, but it's always been pretty close. But I feel like the GOP has a lot of room to grow here in the rural areas. But you could argue they're maxed out in the rural areas already. Which is why I would put this as a tilt Democratic state for Joe Biden. North Carolina is my next stand to go over. In my opinion, I feel like Biden would actually flip this state if it's a rematch between him and Trump. I feel like he was very close in the 2020 election filming this. Trump only won it by around 80,000 votes or so. It was very close, and I feel like Biden's incumbency advantage will come in here and help him get this state from Trump, and he'll flip it. So overall, only one state changed from the 2020 election, and I feel like Trump and uh, Biden's bases will largely stick by them. Only in some areas will it erode. But uh, that's my guess, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching.